Buddhism is a philosophical tradition with a rich history. That history includes many contributing factors and was influenced by Chinese, Japanese, and Tibetan ideas, as well as many political figures. One of the most influential political figures of Buddhism is King Kanishka of the Kushan Empire. Many of the things Kanishka achieved influenced Buddhist history, and he is well known for being a great patron of the Sangha. King Kanishka held on to an expansive empire encompassing much of the Asian continent, and the Buddha himself predicted Kanishka would build a religious stupa in his name, which was to occur 400 years after the Buddha's death. In addition, King Kanishka is attributed to convening the Fourth Council of Buddhism in 100 BCE. Throughout history, many coins have been discovered scattered amongst the various parts of Kanishka's empire, dating back to his time. Many of the coins have various deities imprinted on them. In addition, King Kanishka is credited with the expansion of Buddhism through the Silk Road. He evolved to be a major proponent of the Buddhist thought tradition and as a result of Kanishka, the Gandhara and Mathura schools of Buddhist art flourished. As you will see, Kanishka led a very inventive and successful life. The Kushan era lasted from 65 to 375 CE. Scholars have discovered it may have originally been the name of a family or that of a tribe. The Kushan Empire had a significant impact on the histories of many countries which include India, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Central Asia, and Iran, having unified people under one empire. The empire covered Bukhara from the west to Patna in the Gangs Valley, which is located in the east, and from the Pamirs, which is located in the north, all the way to Central Asia in the south. Kanishka, the son of Vima Kedphises, acquired the throne in the 2nd century CE and maintained it for 28 years. Kanishka was described as being a well-liked and revered ruler. He was well known for military, political, and spiritual achievements during his time. The capital of his empire was located in the now modern city of Peshawar, Pakistan. He was known to have been associated with an Indo-European dialect which he spoke and due to the geographic proximity, he also used Greek in his royal inscriptions. King Kanishka is a well-regarded historical figure by Buddhists and thought of as being one of the greatest Buddhist kings in Buddhist history. Historians have also found Kanishka was said to have been very close to Asvagosa, who later became his religious teacher throughout his Buddhist journey. One of King Kanishka's accomplishments includes a stupa erected in his name. A stupa is a type of Buddhist religious structure found in various locations around the world, which was used originally as a funeral memorial to the Buddha, and then became an object to worship and idolize upon. The stupa is the earliest religious monument of Buddhism and was first composed of a mound of dirt or clay which was used to cover relics known to have been belonged to the Buddha. As time changed and grew, the stupas changed as well, and they became more elegant and dramatic in nature. The Kanishka stupa was located in Peshawar, Pakistan. It was erected by Kanishka during the 2nd century CE and was described by Chinese pilgrims as the tallest stupa in India. The diameter was 286 feet and between 591 and 689 feet tall. The following is an account of the stupa described by a Chinese pilgrim. The king proceeded to widen the foundation of the great tower 300 paces and more. To crown all, he placed a roof pole upright and even. Throughout the building, he used ornamental wood. He constructed stairs to lead to the top. There was an iron pillar, three feet high with gilded circlets. Altogether, the height from the ground was 700 feet. Sun Yun. The area of the Kanishka Stupa was discovered and excavated in the early 1900s. During the excavation of the Stupa, the Kanishka casket was discovered. The casket was a container made to hold sacred religious relics. The Kanishka casket was composed of copper 
and dates back to the year 127 CE. On the lid of the casket, the Buddha is seated on a lotus and being worshipped by Brahma and Indra. A flock of flying geese can be found on the edge of the lid, with some of the geese holding a wreath of victory around their beaks, which is a symbol of the journey of departing souls as well as the removal from samsara. The body of the casket has two images of the Buddha being worshipped by various political figures, perhaps bodhisattvas. The casket was discovered to contain several relics consisting of three bones that were to have been from the Gautama Buddha and a dedication. The relics were brought to Burma after their discovery by the British and today can be seen in Mandalay, Myanmar. As mentioned in the introduction, according to legend, the building of the stupa was foretold by the Buddha 400 years prior. The Buddha, pointing to a small boy making a mud tope, said that on that spot Kanishka would erect a tope by his name, from the Vinaya Sutra. King Kanishka convened the Fourth Council in 100 BCE for the Sarvastivada school of Buddhism. The council was called in order to resolve many controversial points in the literature. Kanishka congregated at least 500 bhikkhus in an attempt to organize the Abhidharma texts, which consisted of over 300,000 verses and over 9 million statements that were ultimately compiled together. The council spanned 12 years and the final product of the fourth council was the production of the Yana Prasthana which is the final work of the Sarvastivadin Abhidharma. Although the Sarvastivada school does not exist anymore, its traditions were assimilated into the present Mahayana tradition. The convening of the fourth council by Kanishka is considered to be the beginning of Mahayana Buddhism. Many coins have been discovered which date back to the Kushan period, specifically to Kanishka's time of ruling. Kanishka held on to a very large encompassing territory consisting of many countries, essentially composing a melting pot of religions and peoples amongst his empire, ranging from India to Central Asia. Due to the size of his empire, it was necessary to begin some type of money system that would satisfy the entire empire. This led to the double-sided coins, and in an effort to appease the majority of the different religions, there were a multitude of divinities inscribed on the commissioned coins, such as the Indian deity, Oesho. An abundance of coins from the Kushan Empire have been discovered in various locations, including Turkestan, southern Russia, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and also in India. The various types of coins which have been found include such religious sects as Buddhist coins, Hindu, Greek, Persian, and Sumerian Elamite. Kanishka is found on the Buddhist coins, displayed on one side and the Buddha placed on the other, being depicted in a Hellenistic or Greek style, which shows the typical well-bodied male figure, often displayed in Greek art at the time. Some of the Buddhist coins include those displaying Shakyamuni Buddha and also Maitreya Buddha. Both types of coins have only been found in copper and are usually quite tattered due to their age. The Shakyamuni coins found display the Buddha standing upright with his hand outstretched and he is producing the no fear gesture. On the Maitreya or future Buddha coins, the Buddha is depicted as being seated cross-legged on some type of throne with a water pot which holds ambrosia in his hand forming the no gesture fear as well. In the beginning of Kanishka's reign, all of his records and coins were written in a Greek-based language. But toward the middle or end of his reign, Kanishka ordered all the coins to be written in Bactrian, which is believed to be the original language spoken by the Kushans, a type of Iranian language. At this point, during his reign, all of the Greek gods were then replaced with all Iranian deities, and the style of the coins went from a Hellenistic form to an Iranian or Indian type of coinage. A few of the Greek deities depicted on the coins before they were changed include Helios, Hephaestus, Selene, and Anamos. The various Iranian deities on the coins issued later include Mao, Oado, and Mithra. 
Some of the Indian deities also included were of Buddha figures and Oesho. In iconographical depictions, Kanishka is described as a foreigner. He is shown as a heavily bearded man in a long coat and trousers, with flames coming from around his shoulders and wearing a pair of large rounded boots. He is holding a long sword and a lance as well, and he is often shown making a sacrifice at an altar. This particular depiction 